Hello everyone, today I am reviewing this cordless handheld vacuum cleaner and it is the Vacuum One Pro Edition. So when you order it, it'll come in this very compact box. Um, everything was individually wrapped, but I already took it out of the wrapping to save time in this video, but it was very neatly compact and organized. So uh, definitely a, a well job on um, just the packaging of this. Going through each item when you open it, First thing you'll see is a couple chargers. So it does give you two chargers for the battery pack. One is USB-C and one USB-A. You do have the floor um, duster here if you do wanna use this feature. I don't know if we'll be using it in the car today just because we are in closer quarters. You'll also see here the battery pack. So uh, the battery pack can be easily swapped in and out with the vacuum. Uh, we'll actually show you how to charge it as well. It's super easy after we've gone through all of the items. Here you'll see two different heads that are available for the vacuum. Uh, so we'll sh show you how to use both of these later. And then after you take out this first layer, and the second layer here, you'll actually see the vacuum itself. So this is super easy to use. Um, if you wanna take out the filter there, you can just see that there's a locking mechanism, just slide it and then pop out. There is the one filter, and it actually comes with a second filter too. So you can easily swap out filters once this one gets pretty dirty. Let's go ahead and lock that into place. And then you have these buttons here for different purposes. So to power it on, and then to control the speed. Um, and you'll see that it does have these LED lights as well, just to show the different speeds. So that's a pretty cool feature that we'll, we'll show you all later on. Then you also have, if you want um, a little more flexible uh, head, you can use this as well. Each of these are super easy to install. You just take them and slide them into the top there, then you're ready to go. If I wanted to use this one here, again, same thing, take it, slide it in, and you're ready to use it. Then the last thing that is in here is two of these longer tubes. So these go in combination with the floor uh, duster there. So if you do want to use this for uh, an extended reach, if you want to get somewhere higher up, you can use these in combination with the floor duster to really get those hard to reach places. But again, we'll be focusing on smaller, a smaller space today. Uh, so probably won't be using this one, but it is an option that comes in the kit. So let's go ahead and put this together and talk about it a little more. I did also want to mention that the package does come with a user manual, uh, but we'll go through a lot of the different features today and you'll find that you actually probably won't need this. So I'm just going to go ahead and toss it to the side. So first things first, you want to make sure that your battery is charged. So to charge it, I've grabbed one of the cables that came with it. I'm going to use the USB-A. We can go ahead and slide off this piece here, which exposes the port. We can go ahead and plug that in and plug that into my car. You'll see that once it does plug in, there is a little LED light there that will turn on to let you know that it is charging. Um, but let's just say here, we're all done. It's all charged, we're ready to go. We can go ahead and unplug that. And then you can just quickly and easily insert that into the bottom of the vacuum here. You'll see a nice click. And then just like that, you're ready to start using it. Using the vacuum is really easy once it's charged. All you have to do is press the power button very quickly. And you'll see that it does turn on. If you click and hold this button for three seconds, that light at the front will actually turn on, you can see. So that way you can see in the dark, hold it again to turn it off. And if you press this top button, the plus and minus quickly, you'll actually be able to change the speed of the vacuum. So you can see when I pressed it, it got a little louder as it was speeding up, pressed it again, it was quieter. So with that being said, as you can see overall, it is a very quiet vacuum though, not too loud, especially just with the punch that it packs. It will suction a lot and uh, definitely get all the hard spots in your car or wherever the situation may be. And it does so very quietly too. So let's go ahead and test out the different heads and get to work. Here you can see that I am using the first um, tip of the vacuum here. This part was super easy to use. It's more firm, I'd say, than the others. So it really helps with these very flat surfaces, very short surfaces that don't require that very in-depth um, clean. 
Personally, I just got a new car, so it's very important for me right now that I keep that clean and pristine for as long as I can. And this vacuum has been amazing in ensuring I can do just that. Here you can see I use the uh, different head. This one is actually flexible, so you can press the button on the top, extend it or shorten it depending on your need. And it was really helpful for me in cleaning off my car seats here and picking up any crumbs. It was also great for getting within my dashboard here and getting a lot of those crumbs uh, and dust that uh, accumulates on my dash. I loved using the two-speed function. It made cleaning very easily. And once I was done, I simply just took that filter, which I showed you in the beginning of the video, and ran it through tap water, and it was clean and ready to go again. Battery charging was super quick as well. It does not take long to charge the battery and it will run for a very long time. So here you can see me using that last tip, which really allows you to get in those hard to reach areas because of the flexible head. So this was great for between the seats and the door to get that dust and any crumbs. Making this a must have in your car or wherever you need that handheld vacuum experience. So I recommend getting one for yourself today.